Hey everyone, Molly Patriot here. So, um, when I was a child, I thought as a child. I acted as a child, and I drank flavored coffee as a child. But as a man, I threw away childish things. Well, today, I'm going to revisit my childhood. And I'm going to do that with the, um, with the effort to try to reconnect with my youth and flavored coffee. Now, I have to tell you, I have actually made, from scratch, a hazelnut coffee. And the trick to it was is to fine ground your hazelnuts and then flash toast them like you would coconut in a quick hot temperature and bring it back out. But it's tough because of the moisture content in them. Uh, you have to spread it out. And you're, like I said, you're trying to flash toast it. But if you can do it just right, uh, I suppose you're sort of approaching that same process that you would with a bean. But be that as coffee bean, be that as it may. But if you do it just right and you mix a nice, delicious toasted hazelnut in with a regular ground coffee, like say a Starbucks holiday brand, product placement, Starbucks, Starbucks. Anyway, speaking of product placement, let me get back to that flavored coffee thing. Um, we were in Walmart the other day and we, uh, back to my, as my childhood, I remember them talking about this rather nice gentleman in the village, Juan Valdez. Juan Valdez picking the best bean. I don't remember which coffee it was, but it certainly seemed like cultural appropriation. But apparently Juan Valdez has popped his head up and reclaimed his right to coffee. Uh, oddly enough, with Juan Valdez's um, <laughs> instant coffee. So I haven't tried this out yet. So folks, if you're at Walmart, um, there's Juan Valdez, Juan Valdez coffee. I'm going to have to try that. Anyway, so today, what we are going to do, yes, we are going to revisit my childhood and flavored coffee. Now, a couple of questions come into play if I'm going to do that. So, by the way, we have a nice Nespresso machine and uh, these pods, this is called uh, Golden Caramel. And uh, they're not bad. I like the Nespresso as uh, machines go. Pretty dang on good. Uh, very happy with it. I always like to warm my cups a little bit with hot water. Got our nice little Sasquatch. American flag cup in Seattle. It's a very important cup. I have a connection with this cup and a certain politician, which I'll get back to later. But apparently, Sasquatch wasn't important enough for that guy to feature on his coffee videos. Anyway, trying to be a nice guy and play well with others. That's me, the Motley Patriot. So here we go. We've got our pod in there, our Nespresso pod. And by the way, the other question that sort of comes up is, as a man, and you guys out there understand this, uh, the missus and I have a debate. When we're uh, using our Nespresso magnetic spinner coffee whip in there, the wife prefers to whip it up into a nice frenzied foamy state where I like to lay low and keep that beverage kind of warm but dense and strong. Anyway, I'm even going to whip today. I'm going for the full childhood coffee experience. Um, um, some might say the effeminate coffee experience. I wouldn't go so far as to say that. Good is good. Um, but uh, having a big, giant, foamy beverage uh, in my hand uh, it just doesn't set well with some of my testosterone-driven uh, inclinations. But anyway, I'm going to try it today. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the Nespresso-flavored coffee pod. And we're going to use, of course, I always use, you know, Walmart's the closest big grocery store to us here in Orange County. Maybe that'll change someday. And uh, there's a nice organic whole milk. And by the way, I tell you folks, anybody that buys milk that is not whole is confused. The only value in milk, to my eyes, is the milk fat. That's what makes you feel satisfied. That's what stops you from eating lots of sugary stuff. So here we go. We're going to whip up. Come on in here if you want, camera girl. You can look at our milk whipping. You think it'll work? Probably not. I'll bring it to you. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start the Nespresso. The whipping, the fuzzing, the buzzing, the foaming, the horror. Here it is. Oh, look at that. I got to give it to the to the, uh, it was an espresso German, where is it made, Switzerland? Italian. It's Italian. Oh, the Italians. Well, the Italians, they know their coffee. Well, and Swiss. Their no, Swiss. Swiss, yeah. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Out to the Swiss. Uh, the espresso machine, folks, I'm going to tell you, I don't care what anybody says, there is no denying the science of Nespresso. Um, it's, uh, 
it's really good and if anybody's gonna get a caramel vanilla pod down it's gonna be them although I have seen some wacky ingredients coming from Europe lately it's a nice sound boy if you could only smell it oh it's a good smell it's that fresh coffee we've got the milk whipping over here and of course the dilemma with when you go to the whip as opposed to the uh, um, uh, the, the less whipping attachment uh, your, it foams up and one ounce becomes four ounces oh look at the crema yeah is that what it's called crema I even know the nomenclature crema when I hear the word crema I'm thinking of the guy uh, uh, from uh, Lord of the Rings the worm tongue what was his name and it was a crema reference in that I don't remember what it was Oh, listen to this. You can hear the whipping of the uh, whole milk, organic whole milk. Uh-oh, we're starting to expand. <laughs> this is the reason I don't like it. It's got a mind of its own. Well, that'll have to do. Anyway, so here we go. Oh, no, we've made a mess. Let's see. Um... Well, we'll get that after camera. Anyway, let's go ahead and add some crema for some of this stuff here. And I gotta tell you, ow. So, uh, <laughs> I think I know why that certain person didn't want the tin cup. The coffee goes right to the cup and it burns your hand. Anyway, looks like somebody, uh, <laughs> somebody else got the last word. Well, um, I don't always drink flavored coffee, but when I do, I make sure it's the most expensive flavored coffee in terms of science and technology. But that's just me. I don't know yet. I think the only way this thing works is... Uh, you put five pounds of sugar in it. I think that's what I was going after back in the day. Huh. I suppose in its acquired taste, sort of like hanging. <laughs> Molly Patriot, go out and get yourself some coffee and have a wonderful holiday. It has begun. Oh, you got to do the straight on. But that's just me.